welcome you guys I apologize for my appearance first off it has been pouring rain all day I just did a face mask just did some skincare I put my hair up in a little claw clip we are in a crew neck today no makeup hair is not done but in other words welcome okay, a little backstory I'm from New Jersey welcome to my channel if you're new here if you are new I would love if you would join the family make sure to subscribe it's down below click the button it's completely free and this is actually a new series I'm introducing to my channel. A little backstory, if you guys know, my friend Sarah Curley over here, she is a huge book YouTuber. If you guys are not subscribed to her, please go subscribe. She got me into reading, me loving to read, and I literally thank her all the time for it. So shout out to you, Sarah, if you're watching this. Also, Haley Fum, love you both. And I thought, I know a lot of people enjoy watching these videos to find new book recommendations. I just started getting into reading about a month or two ago and I thought I would introduce this series onto my channel so I don't want to title this May TBR because I am not going to get through all these books in May so it's going to be like a May summer to be read and I thought I'd show you guys the book I'm currently reading and the books that are in my pile so make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and interested in book videos because this is definitely going to be something I'm going to be doing on my channel a lot more I had a video idea of like finding the perfect beach read for the summer and like going to Barnes and Noble and showing you guys the different like beach reads I find. So make sure to comment down below your favorite like summer beach read and I will go find it. Make sure to subscribe for that video and without further ado, let's get into the pile. Also comment down below what book you're reading right now. I feel like that'd be fun and we could share ideas. Here's the pile. She is large. She is in charge. She is one, two, three, four, five, six books. Not a lot, not a little. She's just right. So these are all the books that are in my to be read pile and I thought I'd share with you guys why I picked them up, why I'm excited to read. And also my two friends from school and work got me into reading too. So Megan and Jenna, if you're watching, thank you. So the first book that I'm reading right now, I know I'm late to the trend, I know people read this literally two years ago, but I don't care, I don't want to hear it, I'm reading it, that's all that matters. I literally, I read November 9th, I read Ugly Love, I still haven't read this yet, I'm like, I literally started it actually today, and I'm on page 30, so we're making progress, but if you guys aren't on the Colleen Hoover wave, please get on it, I 100% recommend this book. November 9th and Ugly Love to like start off. November 9th is my favorite Colleen book that I've read so far, but this one I really like as well. Ugly Love is up there as well. Those are the two I've read and this is the third I'm reading. I'll read you guys the back of the book if you guys have not heard of this. So someone, sometimes the one you love is the one who hurts you the most. Lily hasn't always had it easy, but that's never stopped her from working hard for the life she wants. She's come a long way from her small town in Maine, where she grew up. She graduated college, moved to Boston, and started her own business. So when it, she feels a spark with a gorgeous neurosurgeon named Ry Ryle Kinshade, everything in Lily's life suddenly seems to almost be too good to be true. Ryle is assertive, stubborn, maybe even a little ignorant. He's also sensitive, brilliant, and has a total soft spot for Lily. But Ryle's complete aversion to relationships is disturbing. And if you guys are new to Colleen Hoover, she writes romantic fiction books. As questions about her new relationship overwhelm her, so does the thought of Atlas Corgan, her first love, and a link to her past she left behind. He was her kindred spirit, her protector. When Atlas suddenly reappears, everything Lily has built with Ryle is threatened. With this bold and deeply personal novel Colleen Hoover delivers a heart-wrenching story that breaks the setting for new ground for her as a writer. It ends with us as an unforgettable tale of love that comes at an ultimate price. So I'm literally at the part where Lily just met Ryle on the rooftop. That's literally all I got to but I know she also announced that she's coming out in October with a sequel to this book which I'm very excited about because I know I'm gonna love this and I'm very excited to read. I think it's coming out in October. If you guys pre-ordered it let me know where you pre-ordered it from because I would love to pre-order it. 
So the next book hopping on the Colleen Hoover wave is Reminders of Him. I actually plan to read this once I'm done with it, Ends With Us. And I'm very excited. I was looking to get my hands on this book for a while. I went to Barnes. They said they've been out of it and it's been on back order for a while. But I went to a local bookstore that's around 10 minutes from my house. I 100%. I know we all love Barnes, but there are so many like small mom and pop local bookstores that we need to support my sister she lives in orlando she lives right near one it's actually in winter park and i went there and got november 9th there when i was down visiting her i love going to bookstores and i went to a bookstore near my house to pick up reminders of him because it's so important again to support small and they don't it was the same price as 17 dollars and I was so excited when I saw this, so I'm going to read to you at the back of this as well. I'm going to read this once I'm done with the end with us. A young mother fights to earn a place in her child's life, but is there room for her? After serving five years in prison for a tragic mistake, Kenna Roman returns to her town where it all went wrong, hoping to reunite with her four-year-old daughter. But the bridges Kenna burned are providing her proving impossible to rebuild. Everyone in her daughter's life is determined to shut Kenna out no matter how hard she works to prove herself, which is so horrible. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I love Colleen and the stories she writes. Like, I just want to know how does she think of these things? You know what I mean? Because they're all, so all these books are so different, but they like touch you so much. The only person who hasn't closed the door on her completely is Ledger Ward, a local bar owner and one of the remaining few links to Kenna's daughter. But if anyone were to discover how Ledger is slowly becoming an important part of Kenna's life, both would risk losing the trust of everyone important to them. The two form a connection despite the pressure surrounding them, but as their romance grows, so does the risk. Kenna might find a way to absolve the mistakes of her past in order to rebuild a future of hope and healing. This is very sad, but I'm very excited to see where the story goes, and I hope, 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 hope that it ends with kind of reuniting with her daughter which I feel like it will but there's obviously going to be some bridges in that book the next book in my TBR pile I feel like everyone has read this too the seven husbands I know Netflix is coming out with I think a movie don't call me if I'm wrong but this is by Taylor Jenkins Reid this is the New York Times bestseller I'm very excited to read this again I'm going to read you the back and this is a quote by Jamie Bland from US Weekly. Evelyn Hugo is the glamorous idol you admire, but she's also the relentless fighter you aspire to be. Her life story is heartbreaking yet beautiful and will keep readers captivated until the very last page. And that is so important to me when I'm reading a book. Like, especially if I'm in a slump, I need a book that's going to keep me captivated and keep me going. I think I read November 9th and Ugly Love in three days each. Like, I'm not kidding. I read November 9th the entire plane ride down to Florida and I finished Ugly Love coming back home. Like, that's how obsessed I was with those two, those two books. And if you guys have read November 9th, comment down below if you want Colleen to write a sequel. I really think she could. The way it ended, she so could write a sequel for it. I want all of her books, too, and props to her if she does because she will make things. So, Colleen, if you're watching this, please write a sequel. Okay, so this is... Hollywood icon Evelyn Hugo is finally ready to tell the truth about her glamorous and scandalous life. But when she chooses unknown magazine reporter Mo Monique Grant to write her story, no one is more astounded than Monique herself. Determined to use this opportunity to jumpstart her career, Monique listens in fascination. From making her way to Los Angeles in the 1950s to leaving show business in the 80s, and of course the seven husbands along the way, Evelyn unspools the tale of ruthless ambition, unexpected friendship, and a great forbidden love. But as Evelyn's story nears its conclusion, it becomes clear that her life in her sex with Monique's own tragic and irresistible ways. Written with Reed's signature talent for creating complex, likable characters, this is a mesmerizing journey through the splendor of old Hollywood, which ugh, I love old Hollywood. And you can even tell by the cover, like she is glammed up. Very excited to read this book. Okay, so this book I actually picked up at Walmart not too long ago and I just wanted another good beach read to add to my pile so that is this one it is called A Family Affair by Robin Carr and she is a New York Times bestselling author as well it just looks very beachy okay so the back of this book says Anna knows how to take charge raised by a single mother she's worked to ensure her three children take every advantage she didn't 
and while her marriage has its problems, she values commitment and believes in till death do us apart. Now as an empty nester, she's at the peak of her career and she's ready to seize the opportunity to focus on her future. But life can change in the sudden instant. When her husband passes away suddenly, Anna's carefully constructed worlds fall apart. The mysterious young woman at the memorial service confirms her husband has been keeping secrets and Anna is determined to get the truth. Okay, so that's going to be... That is so sad because now I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what if... Like, she's her husband just passed away and now she's thinking about, oh my goodness, was my husband having an affair the entire time I was with him? Was he seeing me around? What was he doing? And the only person that's going to answer those questions is the mysterious woman. For once, she doesn't have the answers. Her kids are struggling with the grief. Her mother's health is on a decline and Anna needs closure. Faced with one challenge after another, she finds support from an unexpected source, and as she puts her life back together, Anna realizes she may not be perfect, but they'll always be family and families forever. That made me tear up. I'm very excited to read that book. The next book is a book that I have seen on Sarah Crowley's Instagram so many times. I'm so excited to read it. Christina Lauren, Love and Other Words. Oh my goodness. When I went to Barnes, I saw this book in the shelves, and I was like, need it. I didn't even question. Oh, sorry. But I saw this book in Barnes, actually, in, like, the aisles, like, not in the front or anything. And I saw the cover. I knew that Sarah raved about this, so I knew I needed to pick it up. She's also a New York Times bestselling author. Okay, so the story of a heart can never be unwritten. Macy is settling into an ambitious, if emotionally tempered routine. Work hard as a new Pete's resident plan her wedding to an older financially secure man, keep her head down and heart tucked away. When she runs into Elliot, the first and only love of her life, the careful bubble she's constructed begins to dissolve. Once upon a time, Elliot was Macy's entire world, growing from her gangly, bookish friend into the man who coaxed her heart again, only to break on the very night he declared her love for her. Told in alternating timelines between then and now, Teenage Elliot and Macy grown from friends to much more, spending weekends and lazy summers together in a house outside of San Francisco, devouring books, sharing favorite words, and talking through their growing plans and triumphs. As adults, they have become more strangers to one another until their chance at a reunion. Although their memories are obscured by the agony of what happened that night so many years ago, Elliot will come to understand the truth behind Macy's decade-long silence and will how it will overcome the past. So this is very interesting. So Macy is about to get married and Elliot just comes in. Hopefully they figure that out. Okay, and the last book on my TBR, I picked this from Target and this is Susan Mallory, The Summer Getaway. She's also a number one times bestselling author. This is just a big, like, you know this is a beach tree when you look at it and that's what I really wanted. I've heard really good things about Susan Mallory, so I'm going to read to you. And I like how the font is big and I like she's big and like perfect for the beach okay one woman discovers the beauty in chaos with her divorce settlement about to run out and the mortgage she can't afford robin needs to plan for her future she nurtured her family and neglected herself we love a selfless queen <laughs> but how she's supposed to think when her daughter has become the most depending bride ever her son wouldn't even consider college. Her best friend is on the brink of a marital disaster and her ex is making a monumentally bad decision that could bring everything crashing down on Robin's head. Whoa. So with her great aunt Lily invites her to Santa Barbara for the summer, Robin hops on the first plane. See, that's something I would do. Literally run away from my problems and go to somewhere warm. That's what I'm gonna do, probably. <laughs> but it's hard to run away when you're the heart of the family. One by one, everyone starts... Everyone she left behind follows her across the country. Damn. Somehow, their baggage doesn't feel as heavy in the sun drenched mansion. The more time Robin spends free, with free spirited Lily Ann, the more she sees the appeal in taking chances. Okay, I'm very excited to read this. So those are all the books on my TBR. I know it's not a lot. I'm literally going to read more of It Ends With Us right now. Like, I'm not even kidding. I need to finish it. So yeah, comment down below what books you guys are reading right now, what books you're excited to pick up, and any good beach reads you guys know of because I need more. And also, if any of you guys have read The Silent Patient, let me know. I'm really into like romance and fiction books and I know it's a thriller, but I need just like another person's opinion on if I should get it or if I shouldn't. I know it's a thriller, I'm just scared I'm not going to like it, but I feel like I would. But yeah, just let me know. I love you guys so much. I will see you all next time with a brand new video. I'm going to try... 
to incorporate a lot more book videos on my channel because I know so many people love them. And yeah, that's all. I'm going to TBR. I love you all so much. Bye.